What are you scared about? What um, should I be scared about? Well, I mean, people are losing their minds right now over the past 24 hours because of Iran, right? And right. so what you're hearing is you're hearing a lot of the, um, the, uh, the critics of, of the current president, and apparently there are some, uh, that are saying, oh, he's, you know, he's inching us closer to a military conflict with right. Iran. Well, these are the same brainiacs that, that said he was inching us closer to war with North Korea, and they, everybody was completely wrong on that. Uh, I'm not saying that Rouhani and, and the others in the Iranian regime might not, you know, decide to become more bellicose, but um, I think they're I think they're looking at it wrong. I mean, they're, they're this idea that because uh, there's a couple of parts. Part one is that they're saying, oh, look, it, it, you know, he doesn't have a plan B, implying that it's either this deal, which even our European allies say is inadequate, right, uh, or it's a military conflict, and that's kind of what the previous president was was all about. We either get this deal or we're having a military conflict. Yeah. Well, no, there's a, there's other things in the works. There's other options in that in that decision tree, um, and so I think that's that's a false premise. And the other thing, when they talk about it over the past 24 hours, anyway, is is that well, look at this. This is going to make it harder to get a deal with with uh, Kim Jong Un from North Korea because he's going to think that we don't we don't uh, support our deals. Well, I look at it a different way. I think that Kim Jong Un's going to look at this and think. Uh, okay, they're not going to put up with an inadequate deal, right? So he's going to look at it and say, well, yeah, that because uh, nobody disagrees with the Iranian deal. They want to talk about, they want to talk about how, look, the Iranians are complying with it. Well, the Iranians are complying with what they agreed to allow in the deal, right? Which is none of their military sites. The number of times inspectors have, have actually gotten on and inspected a military site, including Parchin, the most important military facility in Iran, since that deal was signed in 2015, was zero. Haven't been there because the Iranians didn't agree to allow any of those sites in this deal. So that's like, that's like, saying, that's like saying if you're a serial killer, you'll allow the police to come in and search your home, but you can't go in the basement. Right? Uh, not that all serial killers put their bodies in the basement, but I, you know, I suspect that's the case. So anyway, that's, it's an interesting thing, and I, I guess I wanted to throw that out there right off the bat because I think Iran right now is consuming so much of the oxygen for, for people out there. So people thinking that the reason why we're backing out of the deal is because the president's being unreasonable and we're forcing one. You're just saying it's a shit deal, period. Yeah, I mean, I think the idea that we, we have to stay in it because it's better than the alternative when the alternative, you know, being uh, war is is not framing it properly. I don't think right. that that doesn't make any sense uh, to me. But I think that the fact that the the UK, the the the, the French, the Germans uh, have all agreed publicly that it's an inadequate deal and needs to be fixed, that tells you something. But it also tells you that they have real strong financial incentives for continuing to do business in Iran. They they and as do Russia and China, frankly, the other signatories. So, you know, I, and and also you know, here's the other part. I mean, Trump. You know, what is it now? We're 16 or 17 months into Trump's administration. So it's not like he, he got into the White House and the next day he, you know, he, he canned the deal. He's been talking, but nobody listens to anything. I'm not, I'm not a supporter of Trump necessarily. I mean, I want the government to work. So it's not that I'm supporting Trump. I support the I want the government to work just like the previous administration. I wasn't a supporter of Obama, but hey, I want it to work. I want right. good things to happen. And, you know, so he, you know, he went out there and, and there was some talk about, look, let's see if we can't find some way to get rid of the sunset clause, some way to uh, rein in their ballistic missile development program, um, some way, although it's not going to happen, to rein in all the, the uh, you know, the, 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 the shenanigans, if you want to call it that, that they're engaged in in the Middle East. And, you know, that didn't happen. So I think he, he you know, took a step that is not as god-awful as his critics would like us to believe.